just finished running two miles. The past couple of weeks have been rough as far as mentally. Still putting in work, but it's just it's very tough. It's hard for people to see your vision, so it's a lot of confusion and miscommunication, but on the personal level. As far as the business, business is doing well. I have two clients outside of family, three clients outside of family, and they love their the results they're seeing, but as far as on the personal level, with personal family and friends, it's in a rough period right now. At first, I didn't want to really put too much of me being down on the reality shows, but after speaking with a couple of friends, I realized that, and I've come to the conclusion that even if I'm up or down, if I'm, my mood's not as high, it's best to put everything because it's the reality of chasing your dreams and it's the reality of life. You're going to have some good days, you're going to have some bad days. The one important thing is you have to keep going and you can't let the bad days stop you from going after the good days. One thing that's kind of weird in this world is people, they mistake your confidence for arrogance and I never want to come off as arrogant I'm just extremely confident and I've been putting in the work and I've been planning and researching and really believe in myself and yes I have a lot of supporters but this journey is a very very lonely journey as far as getting your goals accomplished and your biggest dreams sometimes the bigger you get the smaller it makes certain people feel because they're not exactly at where they want to be in life and this is no knock to them or no ill feelings, it's just the reality of the situation, how it can be perceived. And I'm 100% focused on getting my job done and my whole goal with me training and having my own business and helping others is to help inspire and do it for my family. The more you go for your dreams and the faster and harder you chase them, the harder it's going to get. And that's just a part of life. If it were easy, then everybody would do it and it really wouldn't be worth it. So I know that it's tough to have a lot of challenges trying to convince people. I, that's the one problem that I have and I'm trying to work through it is trying to convince others of my vision and my passion. What I really need to focus on is just the passion and the convincing will happen once the results happen. So I'm starting to learn the more I try to explain to certain people why I'm doing certain things the way I'm doing it. I need to spend that energy on just doing it and getting it done. None of this is directly for me. I wake up and get to do what I love doing, which is train people for a living. The money is a bonus to me, so all of that is extra. Me, my happiness comes from actually being able to communicate with people and train them, go to their homes and have conversations and just enjoy life in the real world rather than just social media and technology and watching reality TV shows. But I'm also doing the business so that there's a, my family can see another way out and it can provide a, there's a big possibility for it to provide a huge income. I never want to work paycheck to paycheck. I always want to set it up so that there's a lot of wealth so that we can live freely without the constraints of money. I have big dreams and even bigger goals. I put in a ton of work towards these dreams and I'm always thinking about it and I'm always working towards it because I really want to help change the world. I'm the type of person where if I want to see something happen or if I want to see a change in the world, I don't just speak about it and just wish for it and just pray for it. I become the change that I want to see so I constantly do what I want to see and try to help motivate and inspire others to do what I'm trying to see in this world and that's see people happy and living healthy because the obesity rate, the amount of diseases that we have, the amount of deaths that we have due to preventable diseases, it's very sad and it's actually very scary because it happens way more than the average person may think or may want to admit to but we're killing ourselves slowly and it's all, most of it is preventable so I would like to help spread the word, help spread the motivation, the knowledge, and help train people to 
live a healthy life. I have to focus a lot of my time and attention on Family Dreams Fitness because it's a new business and I'm the only worker for this business right now. I have no co-workers, so I have to do everything and I'm being very disciplined now because I'm young and my goal is to have a lot of children. I want at least four or five children. That's my big plan. I want a big family. I love that, that idea of having a big close family. So I know that in order to have a big close family or just a lot of family members, a lot of children, it requires a lot of money. And I don't want to have children and not be able to support them financially. So while I'm young and don't have major responsibilities, my goal is to bust my tail as hard as I can and work not only smart, as smart as I can, but as hard as I can and get as much money and build as much wealth as possible or the potential for as much wealth so that when I do have children, I'm getting money from multiple different businesses and multiple different avenues so that we're financially set. And not only do me and my family, we don't have to worry about the money. The onlookers, if you're part of my family, you don't have to worry about money because the money will be there. That's why I'm working so hard and my attention is so focused on this because I'm young. By the time I'm 25, 26, 27, everything will be taken care of because of how hard I'm working in these beginning years. But it's a huge sacrifice and the closer you get to me, the more you're gonna have to sacrifice your time and money when it involves me because this is what I have to get this done. Living a healthy life is not difficult, the concept of it. Living a healthy life is simple. It's, you have to eat healthy foods, you have to drink plenty of water, eat mainly fruits and vegetables, you stay active throughout most of the day and you don't stress over the things that you have no control over. Those are small parts of living a simple and healthy life, but those are major parts of living a healthy and simple life. If you live a healthy and simple life and not worry about the things you can't control and worry about having excess money or worrying about what other people have, we would appreciate more of the effort that we put into our work and we'll appreciate more of the results that we get. When you're fighting for a dream, it's really a, it's an everyday fight, it's a, it's a struggle. Because like I said, when you have a vision that, and you're seeing in the future and you're looking far into the future for yourself, most people aren't going to be able to understand or see the exact same vision. They're only going to see what they're capable of seeing through their own experiences and their lifetime and their perception of reality to them and this it hurts when it comes from the closest people to you who you believe understand where you're coming from and can see it your closest loved ones but it, it hurts when they can't see it but I just use that as motivation to keep on going because in the end everybody that's directly involved with me will benefit from it it's not something that I'm doing and I'm the only person that will see any benefit from it. When what I'm working towards, when it happens, everybody that's involved with me, no matter how small or how big, it will benefit you in a great way, whether that be directly financially or that be inspiration and motivation. You see somebody putting in hard work and you really see the results that will inspire you to do what you want to do. Because I'm not saying do what I'm doing, I'm saying, do what you want to do to the fullest and the results will happen. Like don't knock me for going as hard as I can and being extremely disciplined. Just do the same, it's the same thing. My satisfaction in life comes from effort. I know that if I give 100% effort, I feel great because I know that not only did I give my all, but I'm helping others or something good is going to come out of it. Even if bad things may happen or negative things may happen, I did all that I could possibly do so I would have no regrets. The worst thing to do is not give your all and then later on you have regrets when you don't get what you want. That regrets are the worst because you can't do anything about it. You, it's always a what if and you never want to live with a what if.